Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man Valentine, baby, coming from on the grind. Yo, man, you know what time it is, man. It's the outdoor edition, baby. We gotta give it to you outside. It's sunny. You know what I mean? Yo, listen. This is, um, it's getting to be crazy. Because today, the NBA has canceled, uh, canceled all their games. Major League Baseball canceled three of their games today. And, you know, every single, I mean, every single day, man, why do we have to be listening to people on TV talk about the loss or the shooting of their children? You know what I mean? And... The only thing that people want, man, is if you are born in the United States, you want to have a chance to be treated equally and fairly. Because this is all about birthright, man. And every black person deserves to be treated differently or equally. And you can't be treated any differently, man, because each and every single day, that we are seen as the enemy and it is unbelievable because this is all about I mean you, we're going back to where slave hunters and used to go out and find the slaves bring them back dead or alive this is a joke I mean, you have to have some sort of police reform because unless there's change to the, to the system, the systemic racism and the shooting of unarmed black people is going to continue. I mean, like Doc Rivers says, man, listen, black people love the United States, but the United States does not love them. You can go anywhere and you get treated with respect and you get treated like a human being, except for the United States. You get treated differently because of the color of your skin. I mean, how many days do we have to continue to watch this play out on TV? I've already told you, this is not just an isolated incident, man. This is a systemic problem that police continuously shooting unarmed black men. You know, it's like the endangered species, man. This is unbelievable. I mean, last night you heard that knucklehead Trump, his son, talking about why people, uh, uh, Colin Kaepernick was kneeling and disrespecting the flag and the military. And somehow, the fact that he is not even understanding or listening to what is going on is why he can sit there and say something like that when he doesn't understand why Kaepernick was kneeling. This is the reason why we have this right now. This problem that we're having right now is because of the systemic racism, the police brutality, the institutionalized racism. When you put a knee on somebody's neck for seven Seven and seven minutes and 46 seconds. Then you come out and shoot a dude unarmed eight times in the back, yo. Shoot another woman, you break into her house and shoot her eight times. Shoot a man when he's running. This is not, we're not back in, in, in the 60s, man, or, or where slavery. It, it, slavery is abolished This is unbelievable This is why people are having such a hard time Of why And if you can If you sat there And you watched This man Get shot seven times And if it doesn't bother you It doesn't take you It doesn't take a black person To look at that and say It bothers me 
it should bother everybody. This is what I'm saying, man. This has to stop. We need change. We're sick of this. We're tired of this, man. We're tired of watching black, innocent black people get shot. It, and it doesn't matter about it. It's men and women and children. Every single time coming up in front of this camera, man, it's exhausting. To be able to sit here and tell you, ah, you know, another person got shot. And another family member, another family is grieving. And, and uh, Ben Crump is the, is, the, is, the, is the lawyer or the attorney for these people. You don't hear black uh, white people have to tell their son or, or, or daughter that, hey, look, you know what, you need, to you need to be safe and be careful about how you interact with the police. None of that happens. But every black person who is, who is telling their son, their son and daughter are leaving the house, you've got to let them know, hey, look, you've got to be careful. You know what I mean? This is a joke, man. We're, we're tired of this. We're fed up. We're sick. It's sickening. It's, a, it's, it's unbelievable. It has to stop. Change has to come now. And Trump and his cronies who are preaching this racial um, division needs to stop that. And him and his sons need to get, get an education. And understand why we're at this point. This is a joke. Unbelievable. All black people right now, and they leave their house, they're scared to leave their house because, you know what? They don't know if they're going to come home safely or not. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm applauding all the basketball, the NBA, for, for not playing today. Take a stand. That's what we got to do. Yo, black people, take a stand. White people, take a stand. Remember, silence is not an option. Seven times, take a break. Unbelievable. Yo, man, remember we going through a pandemic. And y'all got to be safe. Wear your mask. And remember, it's not a political thing. It's a safety thing. And it saves lives. So make sure you wear your mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Yo, I'm your Matt Valentine, baby. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your Matt Valentine. Take a stand, black people.